Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Python for Testers tutorial, we are going to learn about variables in Python. Now before we start learning Selenium with Python, it is very important to learn the basic Python concepts and that's what we are going to cover in this particular Python for Testers tutorial series. So variables are very important concept, very basic and very important and we'll be using them a lot in Selenium scripts. So understanding variables, how to define them, how to declare, how to assign the values to variables, it is very important and we'll understand that. Before we get into PyCharm and start actually learning about the variable, how to define and use it, first thing is to understand why you need to use variable, right? So you need to understand the concept behind variables and what benefit they bring you in doing Selenium automation or in general Python programming. So in Selenium, we usually write many scripts and when we write the test script, so say for example, your application has login functionality. Now login functionality will be required in most of your test cases. Say for example, you have 100 test cases, you want to test the functionality, you will be logging into the application with the username and password. Now, one approach is that you put username and password, the hard code username and password into all the hundred scripts, right? So you can put whatever username ABC and password XYZ into each and every script. And then say, for example, two months down the line, somebody changed the password. So what will you do in that particular case? You will go to those hundred scripts and change the password in all 100 scripts is that the wise approach now that is very very tedious job and if you have hard coded the values in the scripts automation scripts and it also holds true in your general programming um, general programming as well so if you have hard coded any of these values into your program then you might have to change these into all the places if something changes and that's where variables come to rescue so variables become really handy what you do is you define the variable and assign these values so in case of username and password we'll assign username to a defined variable and now, now defined variable could be username user pwd or password whatever name you want to specify for the username and password and then you assign the actual value to those variables and instead of using the actual username and password in your 100 scripts you use those variables so you use username and password the name of the variables that you have defined into those scripts now the benefit for that is if tomorrow password changed you simply have to go ahead and change the password that is associated with the variable, right? So that is assigned to the variable. And all your 100 scripts, because they are referring to the variable password and not the actual password in, in the script, they all will get updated. I mean, it, they'll pick the latest value that you assign to the variable and they'll run perfectly fine okay so this is the real usage that you will see a lot in the selenium automation with python or with java whatever so variables are the common concept across all programming languages now let's understand how you define variables in python and some of the key concepts around variable so let me create a new project so i'll go to file and click on new project and let me create, uh, give the name as learning, learning Python. All right, so let's say learning Python. And I will check the interpreter that I'm using the right interpreter. So I'm using the previously configured interpreter. And in the drop down, I'll choose the latest one that I want to use. Okay, I'm not going to use the virtual environment. So I'll use the interpreter that is present on my machine. And I'll click on create. So I'll say this window and the project will open in the current window and a learning Python project has been created. And now I will simply 
create a package. So right click new and click on Python package. And I will say basics because we're learning basics of Python. So I'll create a package basics and I'll put all the Python files into this basic folder. So right click new and I'll say Python file and I will name this file as variables. Okay, because we are learning about variables. Now in this variable file, as I explained that variable is the name attached to a particular object. So for example, in the username case, if I define the variable as username, right? So this is the name of the variable and this name is attached to an object or the value. Okay, so say for example, I want to use this particular username. So now here, this is the value or the object RCV Academy, right? This is username. This is the assignment operator and this is the, this name username is the variable. All right. Now, if I want to print the variable, I'll simply name, simply say print statement. So to print anything on console in Python, you simply use print bracket and the variable, right? So I can use the variable or I can simply say print or any value there. So if I want to print 100, I can print. So this is simple print statement in Python, right? So if I run this particular file, so it's simply right click and run, uh, it will show you run variables or whatever name of the file that you'll give or you, pre you press control shift F10 and it will run the the code and you'll see the value of this particular variable which is rcv academy and uh, got printed this is the statement just to show you the print statement right so that's how you define the variable and assign the values to variable in very simple terms now in python we do not need to specifically specify the data type. So now if you see here, this is the string, right? The RCV Academy is the string. Now I haven't specified any string before this particular variable. Okay. So I haven't done something like this, which we usually do in Java, right? So Python based on what value you assign to that particular variable, the data type or the, the uh, variable uh, is holding that particular data type accordingly so that's dynamically identified so how do we verify that this particular variable is holding this string data type there is a function type so we can say type and we can specify the type say for example i want to see what is the type of this particular variable username i can see print type of the username and just run this code and you can see the class is string. Now, say for example, I store an integer value instead of string there. Now I stored 10 in there. And if I run this file now, the class will change to integer. If I store a float there, then the class will change to float and the float value got printed, right? So this is all dynamic in Python. You do not need to specify the data type specifically when you are defining the variable that's another key thing to remember okay uh, so type function is very important if you want to identify uh, the type of the variable this is for your learning purpose you won't be using it you know in your automation scripts anyway uh, the other important thing i want to cover is say for example i assign a value um, integer value to the variable x okay and now i print x let's print let's print x and then i assign reassign another value to x okay and let's print x again here if i run this particular file now you will see first it printed 600 right and then it printed 800 so that is what variable is so initial value was 600 and then i changed the value to 800 and variable if you look at the normal english definition of variables it means that the value can change in future and that's what is happening here so there is an initial value and then i'm changing the value and printing the new value 
So initial value was 600 and then it can be changed in the program or across the program, right? The other important thing is say for example, I want to reassign. So now I can I do this? Can I assign a value to X and then again, I assign this variable to another variable and then print Y. Let's see what happens. So you can see 600 has been printed, which is X. And then I printed Y and it again printed 600, right? Now, internally within Python, what happens is when we say 600, um, X is equal to 600, we are assigning an integer value to this particular variable. Or when we say username is equal to any string value, say for example, 10.23, right? So what happens is internally, let me open the whiteboard and usually you can think of these 600 values so usually uh, like a post box what happens is you have certain post that goes to a particular address now when we declare or when we define a variable and assign a value to it similar thing happens within the memory so you can think of this particular memory location which have some address and this will store a value 600 okay so this particular location will have this particular object right so this integer object will will be stored here in this particular memory location and this location will be identified by certain address so in actual case the memory location will be some number that can that will be displayed so i'll show you how this number looks like and then what happens is this particular, let me say arrow, okay? And then this X will basically point to that particular location, okay? So that's what happens. So in a memory location, which, is, which will be some, you know, um, identified by some location, some address, and that, location will store this particular value that you have defined that you have assigned to a variable and variable points to that particular location and when you print the variable when you say print x this variable knows i have to go to this particular location and get the value and print on the console and that's what happens actually now it doesn't matter when you store integer you may you store you know boolean or whatever uh, it will get the value whatever is stored and print or use it in your program so that's what actually happens now in this particular case if you see here 600 is assigned to the variable x and then x is again assigned to y now there is a function in python which will show you what address these values are stored right so where these objects are created what is the location of those objects in the memory okay so I can simply say print there is a method ID right and I can print what is the ID of X okay and then if I want to print ID of Y as well okay so let me print that and you can see that ID of X is exactly same as ID of Y why is that so what this means is that this is the ID. This is the location basically, right? So whatever address it is ending with, uh, so for example, 6096. So this is ending with that particular number, right? So let me put dot, dot, dot there. And this location, this particular memory location is holding this particular value, right? And now both X and Y are pointing to the same address, right? So this is because when we said 600 or when we assigned the value X of 600 to the variable X, and then we assigned the variable X to Y, in that particular case, what happens is two different objects are not created. To save the memory space, single object is created and these two X and Y reference to the same object right so I can uh, let me the pencil here and the Y is also pointing to the same location so if I say print Y it will fetch the value and it will 
give me the location or give me the value of that particular um, location. Now, if I say, if I assign a different value to Y, right, let's print now. Now, in this particular case, the addresses will be different, right? So, the IDs are different because two objects are created. One location or one post box is holding the value 600 and other post box is holding the value 900, right? So, if we want to understand that diagrammatically, so let me undo that. Uh, so, what basically is happening in this case now x is holding the value 600 and y is holding the value as 900 and the address of x is something ending with 040 and address of y is ending with 0480 right so it is something like that and let me remove this address i won't put the address there let's put it down somewhere and now y is pointing to a new location and if if i'll say now print y then in that particular case it will print 900 okay so this is a, a bit of you know uh, advanced concept but very important to understand how the variables are assigned and um, internally how the it is stored id and type functions will be really helpful to understand so when you are learning any programming language just do not go to the uh, to you know skim the easy concept try to understand a little bit deeper and that will give you a very better understanding it it is it won't be required as such in selenium automation all these concepts uh, you won't be using it but understanding these concepts is very important in terms of interview all right so that is all about the variables and the importance of variables in python i hope this this tutorial was helpful and clear thank you very much for watching